Hey guys, and welcome back to this banner video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the encoding overloaded problem in OBS. Now I will go over as much solutions as possible. So keep watching till the end to see if your solution is in there. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. Now there are multiple reasons why your OBS could actually overload, but mainly it's because your PC doesn't have enough CPU, your settings might be too high for your PC in question, or your GPU might be overpowered. And so these problems could definitely provoke the encoding overloaded, and today I'm going to show you how you could avoid that. Now first and foremost, it's going to sound very simple, but just make sure that you have the latest OBS version here. So this is also something you can check if you go to settings here, and you go here in general, and to make update channel, and do just stable, latest stable release, and then automatically check for updates on startup, just to make sure that this is a setting that can, that just automatically proposes you the latest update of OBS. Now something else here, if I go to my desktop here and I add for example the logo, so the shortcut of OBS, I can also just do right click and go to properties. Here I go in advanced and then actually I can check here run as administrator. So this allows you actually it says here to run as administrator every time you actually run OBS so it automatically runs as administrator so that you don't have to do it manually every time. What you can also do then and just click OK is actually go up here to compatibility. I go down here and you actually run this program as an administrator. You actually check this one here and then you do apply and then you click OK. Now back here in OBS itself you can see here this is called the preview zone. What you can actually do this will actually help you reduce the CPU. Let's actually do a right click here and then you do up here you see enable preview but by clicking that it will actually disable the preview. So for you you don't see anything here of course I'm still recording the screen is still recording right now but I just don't have the preview anymore that is currently running and so this could as I said reduce and help your performance and you can just click here if you want to enable it again. Now if you actually go here into the settings and we're going to go here to output and go here to recording. Now don't worry this works for streaming and for recording as well. You first of all up here want to make sure that output mode is on advanced. Then you want to go down here and go to video encoder. Now if you have a graphics card that's supported just always choose your graphics card don't even hesitate just choose your graphics card but if your computer is a, more, a bit more outdated just run with something called hardware nvenc so n-v-e-n-c h.264 in case you're recording and streaming and once again if you don't have a good graphics card you can choose but it's definitely not advised to do n264 since it's actually something that could provoke the encoding overloaded if you choose this option and you might be able to use it to a certain degree if you actually lower your other settings which i'm going to show you in a minute but generally speaking x264 really shouldn't even be an option to begin with and so actually talking about the more low-end part here of the settings is that we can actually put the rate control to cbr and as you can see here it's 2500 kpbs now this is something you can keep but you can also put it up a bit but i really wouldn't go over 8 to 10,000 kbps i really wouldn't go over that really that's something you should check for yourself and just check what's good and what actually might be too much and provoke the encoding overloaded. Just find like a middle ground, find something that actually works well for you. Now for something else to take in consideration is also take down the game settings. So the game in question, if you're running a game and you've done a game capture, in case, really check also if in the game you just don't have these settings too high. Because if you play alone just by yourself, the settings actually might be higher than when you want to record. It is definitely advised to actually put down these settings when you're recording. So also take that in consideration and might not even be in OBS that much it might just be that everything on the game in question is maybe on ultra now here in preset you want to make sure you actually go for the slowest best quality this is something good advised but it could actually help if you go down to slower so better quality or slow good quality i wouldn't really go underneath medium because that's it's just going to get the quality will get worse and worse and, and it will just come to the point where it's not even worth to bring it down that much so i will definitely stay into the slower maybe go to the medium but nothing nothing underneath because as you can see also in the parentheses it just says that's going to be a lower quality and you really don't want that and you could also test to turn down the tuning if you will now going here to actually to the video tab you can see here we have two resolutions the first is the base canvas resolution this will actually be your monitor resolution so don't change that because it's going to be the resolution of your screen in question but the output scaled resolution right here so that's basically going to be the resolution that OBS will see when you're streaming or recording so it's going to be the output is what people are going to see is something you could bring down now because in my case it's 920 by 1080 which is also my screen I can actually put this down to for example 1280 by 720 but if you have something above 920 by 1080 you could actually put it down to for example 920 by 1080 if you have more of a 2k or even a 4k screen you could actually consider that bringing down but only as i said the output scale resolution don't touch the base canvas resolution and he has a down scale filter now i can't actually change this because of my graphics card but i think there are three to four options here and you could definitely choose and experiment and see which one would actually work best for you and so consider just changing the down scale filter this is also something that could help 
Now in terms of FPS here, you could consider going down to 30 FPS. I wouldn't always advise that, but if that could help, you can definitely consider it. But of course, generally you can also just bring the settings down and keep it at 60 FPS, which is pretty standard nowadays. Then we can go over here to the advanced tab. And as you can see, it's processed priority of, for me is on normal, but I could put that for example on above normal or high. This will actually give a priority to OBS, which is also a good thing, of course. And here, nothing much to change. Just make sure that this is direct 3D 11. And this is color. You can actually change the color space and the range here. That's up to you. But this basically remains the same. There's nothing really to touch here, as I said. And of course, every time you made a change, click on apply and then click OK. I'm actually going to do something else here. So what I'm actually going to do now is actually going to go down here to my taskbar. I'm doing a right click. I'm going to do task manager. Now you could also do control alt delete. Now once you're here in the task manager, you can actually go to OBS studio here and click right. Then we go to go to details. Now actually, as you can see here on the left, I have the tab details. Same idea here. But then you can go down here to OBS64.exe, right click on it. I'm actually going to do set priority. And here for OBS itself, I would definitely advise you to do a both normal, high or real time to actually make sure that OBS has a high priority and to actually also make sure that the focus on OBS and so that the recording has a better performance. But you could also alternatively go to the game in question that you're playing. So if you're once again doing a game capture and you're recording a game, and actually same, find that game here in Task Manager and right click the game and then do the same set priority. But then this time you do it, for example, to normal or below normal. So that the priority of the game will be lower and the priority of OBS will be higher. Making sure that the recording has a priority in performance. Now then I'm actually going to go down here in the left corner, go to search here. I'm going to type graphic settings. Just going to go to graphic settings here. Now, first of all, make sure that this is desktop app here. Always make sure that desktop app is selected. Then you want to click browse here. And you actually want to click here on your C disk. We're going to go to program files. The OBS Studio folder, bin, 64 bit. And then you want to double click here on the OBS 64 or click odd right here. Now, once you've done that, you can go down here. As you can see, it appeared OBS Studio. And then what you actually want to do is go to options. And here you have a very important window. This is also, now this is also a performance case. But first of all, I do definitely advise you to never make sure that let Windows decide. Never make sure that that is checked. Don't check that. And then it is going to depend what your PC specs are. But basically you have the choice between power saving and high performance. Now I would say generally speaking most of the time you want to go for high performance. Now this is a bit of a general statement so it might be different for your PC but basically I know that I can see as you can see here it's, it, we're both talking GPU here so that's good but I don't want him to use my AMD Radeon. He's going to be choosing my processor over my graphics card because this as you can see here my Nvidia GeForce RTX 4060 this is my this is my graphics card basically and I would never want OBS or so the graphics performance to be my processor because I always of course want to prioritize my graphics cards in this case which of course will give a way better performance that's why in this case I chose high performance which once again is my graphics card but in your case it might be different but I want to say 90% of the time this is going to be high performance so really watch out for that this is a very important part and then here you just don't use optimizations for windowed games that's really optional you don't have to check this that's up to you and then of course click save here now if I go back here to the settings I'm going to type game mode settings right here and you just generally speaking want to make sure this is off you could leave it on this is a small solution i guess could be because it's basically as it says here optimize your pc for playing by turning things off in the background so that's something that could also help but you can also make sure that this is actually off that could actually be something that will help now if i go to my pc right here to this pc and actually go to my local disk c so my basically my c disk i'm going to right click and i'm going to do properties you could actually check here compress this drive to save disk space but you could also for example do a little disk cleanup and after the disk cleanup you could actually restart your PC, that's also something I could advise you. Then a different little tip I can give you, always make sure that the only thing that is running is OBS and the recording in question that you're doing. So if it's a game, make sure the game is running. Or like me right now, I'm just doing a desktop recording and as you can see, the only thing I'm recording right now is OBS. It's a small solution, but just make sure that if you're recording something, only record the thing that you need to record. Now I could give another tip, make sure that your Windows is up to date. Also pretty simple solution but sometimes it can be in a small corner and something like a windows update or making sure that windows is up to date could definitely help and something similar make sure that all of your drivers are up to date now i advise you to use a software that keeps an eye on your drivers like for example i have right here armory crate here so i'm just going to show you here armory crate real quick it could be armory crate or any other software it doesn't really matter but as you can see here i have here the drivers and as you can see they're all up to date otherwise i would have done download and install here if there was one that was outdated same here in utility and so basically always make sure to actually keep track of your 
drivers and actually make sure they're up to date because if if a driver is outdated of whatever component in your pc that could actually bring some real problems and could actually thus be simply fixed by actually just updating the driver in question for that component now some final things i want to mention is actually going to be about your pc itself if you still have hdds a hard drive it is of course really time to actually upgrade most people nowadays use ssd in most computers no matter if it's an i3 i5 or i7 or even um, i9 if that's gonna come up of the intel for example make sure you have ssd nowadays so if you still have hdd as i said just really consider changing it into a new pc or actually take an ssd instead of a hard drive as i said because of course it can have a lot of performance problems not only with recording but with your pc in general and so also talking about your pc itself watch inside if there's not for example too much dust if your pc is quite clean if the dust is actually starting to really fill up your ventilators you're gonna have a really hard time and also so the cpu is gonna have way more difficulty actually cooling the components in your pc and so actually bring down the performance as well of course so these kind of things they're smaller things but you really have to really just keep an eye on, on your pc itself and the components inside and as i said make sure it's clean and not too outdated either but anyways guys i really try to cover as much solutions as possible as i said i really hope your solution is in there if it's still not fixed don't hesitate to ask me a question down below in any case i really hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like it would be really nice subscribe to us really nice i'll see you guys in my next video bye